Hey, I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. In this video, I want to talk about uh, DriftNet. Now, this is somewhat of a novelty tool uh, that kind of you know gets everybody's head shaking in class. I want to share this with you. It's called DriftNet. So the first thing you can do from your Backtrack image or Kali image is basically just type it to see if it's already installed. DriftNet. Okay. And basically, you'll see a little window open up here. If you do, it basically, that tells you that it's working. But before we get into the use of the tool, I'm going to close out of it and kind of go uh, a little bit of the overview. So let's look at the manual for our DriftNet. But at least it works. We know it works at this point. So DriftNet captures images from a network traffic and displays them in an X window. Optionally, you can capture audio streams and play them. Okay, so that's a whole lot of fun. If you want to capture somebody's audio traffic, if you know what I'm saying, um, you can certainly do that. Okay, so it's basically the command syntax would be DriftNet, whatever options you want, and then the filters and the codes. All right, so you can uh, do just a regular dash H here, which is for your help. You can do uh, verbose, print additional details of the packet. Probably don't need to do that unless you're really digging for some deep packet analysis. Um, you could certainly set the beep if you want. Um, now, I've only used that once, and that was when I was in a data center across the room, and it was a little hard to see the screen. So I could hear the beep, but I couldn't see the image. So uh, I did use that once, but you'll more than likely never use that, uh, just because the beep gets annoying. The interface in which you want to sniff on, you can leave it. You don't have to put this if you only have one interface. Otherwise, you know, sniff it uh, the interface appropriately. Um, dash F, instead of listening on an interface, you can read capture packets from a PCAP file. So if you've already captured it using, you know, Wireshark or TCP Dump or one of those other tools or Kismet, then you can certainly use this tool to interrogate it and replay the images. Um, do not put the interface into promiscuous mode, but you can put it in a promiscuous mode. Uh, the dash M and the number, okay, you can do a prefix if you want. You can specify the directory in, in which you want to store the temporary files. Now, by default, this just stores them in the directory that you normally look in. But one of the top questions I get in class is, can I choose the location which I want to actually store a copy of the files that this tool is going to sniff? And the answer is yes. You just basically, you know, uh, arbitrarily choose the directory, uh, of course, in, in Unix um, syntax. Um, S for attempt to capture streamed audio data from the network. This is fun. We've done this a few times. Uh, particularly works well with uh, MPEGs. Um, or in this case, they're saying that it only works with MPEGs, and that's good because that's the only way that I've done it. Uh, capture streamed audio data only, ignoring the messages, so just the data files. And any sort of filter codes, if you know what they are. I particularly don't get into the filter codes too much. I guess you probably could if you want to look for a particular lib pcap syntax. Um, uh, but definitely outside of the scope of what we're going to do here. Okay, So we're going to do drift net dash i ethernet zero and dash d. And we can put this in, you know... Um, uh, wherever we want realistically so you could certainly do actually let's before we do that make dir and call it leo and you can see that basically I have a directory here in leo now <clears throat> so now we can do this and actually have a place to put it okay so drift net uh, dash i ethernet zero dash d uh, and then leo uh, and we might have to give it the exact syntax of the, the full path of the directory here. Um, so we certainly could do that. Uh, but for simplicity, let's just leave that off because I just want to show you that it sniffs the traffic. Okay. So once you have this little tiny window open here, this is the magic part. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the web, the old interweb here. And uh, I find it particularly interesting to go to Google Images. Okay. So I'm going to search for Leo Dreger and particularly Google Images. And whenever you basically click on an image, um, you basically can see these get dumped to the DriftNet capture screen. 
it does take a little bit of time for the pictures to load in. Um, not all of them get loaded in actually as fast as you possibly want, uh, but certainly you can do that. Okay, so sometimes it takes a second for them to load. No, unless you can see one system. I will warn you, in a virtualized environment, this tool can act a little tricky at times um, just between the way and how it actually sniffs in the virtual interface. Um, so I've had hit or miss results with actually the way in which this could sniff. But I would definitely look to, you know, combine this with some sort of advanced tool like, um, well, not tool, but you strategically place this in the network so that I could sniff, you know, all of the outbound traffic to the Internet or sniff the proxy server. That way I could get a copy of everybody's file and then basically log all those files to a directory and then analyze them for future, uh, you know, future use later. Uh, but it's relatively uh, simple here to use. All you got to do is basically, you know, click on a bunch of images. I'm just clicking on random images. Uh, most of these are not related to me whatsoever. Here's one of me. And you can see as it loads the traffic in there, you know, here's a guy, I guess, cooking dinner. There's Dean, and, you know, Jim. Okay. Uh, you can go through and you just build. Yeah, just for some people that I know that happen to come up when you search for me. So uh, some of these I know, some of these I don't know. But nonetheless, you guys can have uh, some fun with this. So hope you enjoy the lab. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Twitter. And I'll go ahead and I'll see you guys in the next video.